Welcome back to Command Conquer. The Baron Dawn side ops, and welcome to the next mission for the Brotherhood of Nod. This time we have to destroy a village here. We have to be careful with that because we're gonna need some flame guys for that, but we don't want the flame guys to to flame one another like they're doing it right now. So you flame that and you here come over here. You here already move on, you destroy me this. Come over here, you destroy Phil here, whoever that is. Destroy this. The GI is gonna send a response force after us eventually. So we have to probably not deal with that actually because we, we don't want to. We want to make sure that we avoid that actually. You can destroy the village well, which you can flame. For some reason. Okay. So we need to distribute our forces here uh, wisely. Lest we have to face TDI's rapid response force. There we go. Which we really don't want. Sorry, Joe. Be careful here, you can destroy that if you would like to. And worst case, we'll have to distract GDI with our vehicles for the rest of these guys here. Ooh, nice try. Escaping here. Okay, okay. You explore what's here. And I think. Those were all the structures. There we go. Let's just do one sweep here. This seems to be clear, but someone maybe go over here just in case. You can do that as well. There we go. Oh, we'll snap there here. Okay. Just destroy the structure then, please. And let's hope that's the last one. Boom. Yeah, this mission is not so difficult if you distribute your forces appropriately, but you really need to do that. You do not have the time to move in like one bulk. And also don't bother with your vehicles all that much because they need way too long to take down any structures. And another reason to split up your flame flamethrowers is also that if you have more than one in a group, they're likely to flame one another and then they just all explode, which is not great. You can kind of use two that are right next to one another, but even if the one of them is in front of the others, you're already in trouble because they don't have the range that they will have in the original red alert. So we, I guess we did have casualties. Yeah, and they didn't destroy any GI units because that was all civilians. And well, and I guess the mysterious GDI people from that, from those structures. But in any case, yeah, split up your forces and hurry up because once GDI shows up, you don't stand a chance unless you are already close to your goal. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time.